Howdy, howdy, good morning, Vision Freaks. Good morning. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Cheers to a good morning yes. with Ocean Spoon Girl. A wonderful Sunday morning. We got some breakfast. We already had bacon and eggs and toast. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. We haven't been able to spend much time lately together. So she's here, and I had this waiting on me when I got home, so I was like, let's let's just do a uh, an unboxing together. Let's spend as much time together as possible and bring you along for the ride. This is our quality time spent together. We're going live in our quality time. So <laughs> I just want you to know, guys, this is how much you mean to me as much as her. So, wow. You guys must mean a lot to him then. Well, obviously you mean a lot. But oh, I'm just you. saying, like, this is a, you know, we're all, we're all getting something out of this. <laughs> Yeah, what am I getting out of this? You're just, you're here. You're here with us. <laughs> I just get to enjoy it's bonding. the day. <laughs> it's bonding. So uh, we're going to answer some questions while we're doing this. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to unbox together. And after we go through each bait, we can talk about it, ask questions, and whatnot. So somebody just said they were engaged. No, so. they said they're from England. Oh, they said they were from England. <laughs> See, that's why I have her here, because I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, I read Engage too, and I was like, I had to do a double take. So okay. I was like, what? You got better eyes than I do. Um, so, hey, thank you guys, by the way, for uh, watching the last video and all your positive comments. Um, I, had, I had like double the comments that I normally get on a video. So I just want to say, you're awesome. Thank you. Thanks for being on board. And uh, yeah. Life is good. Life is good. Babe. Yes. You ever done an unboxing before? No, I've watched plenty of them, but I have not actually done my own You've unboxing. actually watched plenty? Yeah, well, I've been watching you do them. You've, oh, well, yeah, you've watched me, like, from afar. Mm -hmm. Now you're actually a part of it, so are yeah. you ready? I'm ready. Do you know how this thing works? You kind of go through them, and you pull one by one out, and kind of talk about it and what it's used for, right? Basically. Basically, that's what we're going to do. Okay. But I've never done one live, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I was reading a comment. Not really. What was it? It says, do you go to church? Absolutely we go to church. Yeah, we do. And quite honestly, I feel bad right now because we're not, we're not in church. We're not at our normal time. We aren't. This year has been really crazy for us. And we, every time that we are home on a weekend together, which is very rare now, we normally always go to church. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... Today we're going to a farmer's market and doing an unboxing and filming a bunch of other stuff and getting caught up on life stuff. Yes. And doing taxes. You guys ever done taxes? That's fun. Okay. Uh, MTB Pro. This is for the month of March. So uh, I think these shipped out uh, like a week ago, but I wasn't here to get mine. So now we're going to take a look at it. Um, now, babe. Yes. Usually, I need a knife. I need, I need a knife. Okay. You can grab me, a, grab me a knife. I'll we'll grab you a knife. Always gotta have a knife for an unboxing. Using the uh, using the official bass knife here. It's got the bass eating the dragonfly on it. That was uh, given to you by Papa LFG. Yeah. Can't wait to get one of the new rods. Hey man, new rods are working out good. Glad you guys are are digging it. Uh, I'll be going into all the the new rods and probably gonna have the. Uh, some sort of LFG series coming out. Uh, so I'm excited for that. All right, we're going to, woo! See how I did that? Boom! Now here's what I like to do. I like to crack it, okay? Like you're cracking a cold one. All right, and you just want to give it a little sniff first. Just... It's like you're opening a box of Cracker Jacks. Oh, Cracker Jacks? No, give it a whiff. Just see if there's anything in there that might There's no cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> just cardboard so far. That's right, because there's nothing stinky in here, I don't think. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Actually, there's nothing in here that really stinks too bad. Um, so here's what we got in this box. Okay. Can you guys see the box? You guys can't really see the box. Um, they did away with all the... Uh, they used to put like little frillies in here, like, uh, like an Easter egg basket. Frillies? That was kind of fun, but they don't really do that anymore. Okay. First thing you do, babe, 
get out your card. Okay. Your card. Hey, there I am. I'm on the card. I made the card. Hey. There we go. All right, so the, your card basically tells you like what's in there. What's in there, and then they're also doing. We do these videos now. I help them out with a lot of videos. Like, what are the good situations to fish each lure in? Uh, so I've actually I've probably already fished some of these baits in here, but ideal conditions, gear, um, you know about the bait, basically everything you need to know. So we're gonna go through each one of these, and then. After we get done with one bait, we're gonna let you guys ask questions, and then we'll read we'll read uh, some comments from you guys. Uh, whoa, okay, here's something different too that I haven't seen yet. There's a little uh, um, a table down here at the bottom. New product, exclusive color, and then video review. So there's a little symbol by each thing that says like, uh, "Hey, from Germany." How do you say hi in German? I don't know. Well, I know it's not it's not guten dog. What is that? Is that a type of food? I don't know. We got a lot of German culture here in Texas though, so howdy from Texas. Um anyway. I'm gonna get distracted. Did by somebody comments, say that? I like. No, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Malaysians. Malaysians here. What's going on? It's Mon Mondo. <laughs> I thought she was answering the question. Mondo! <laughs> no, Mondo. Mondo. Mondo's my word. I should like trademark Mondo's. Catch Mondo's. I'm getting distracted. Okay, let's, the let's, okay. let's go. I usually start with the first one on the top of the list. This is going to be the uh, Live Target Hunt for Center Crawfish Crank. I didn't know it was called the Hunt for Center Crawfish Crank. This is what it is. Check it out here, babe. All right, all right. Show the audience what's going on with this thing. Can we open it? Yeah. Don't, it's got hooks on it. So don't hurt yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Live Target, the way they do their packaging, I really like it. They include a, a little sheet that shows you. I don't. <laughs> it's hard to open. I just got to get in there. There we go. They have a sheet in each box that kind of tells you what's going on with the lure. That's what it looks Look like. at that. <laughs> You're showing the eyeball. Look at that. It is kind of like a skeleton shrimp. Well, it's it's like a crustacean. Okay. So if you were in clear water and you needed to imitate a crustacean, also has rattled on it. Oh my gosh, these hooks are sharp. Look at that. Look how sharp those hooks are. Ew, get it out. Um, you would throw this and you just crank it. You throw it on uh, like a medium action. They're saying no sound, no sound. What? No sound. Why would there be no sound? Hi! Maybe they're playing a <laughs> joke. Somebody said Lake Fork Guy is beautiful. Lake Fork Guy is beautiful? Or maybe they said Lake Fork Gal. You're know. beautiful. I don't know. What, what the crap's going on with the sound here, guys? Can you hear us? I can hear. I can hear. Give the thumbs up if you can hear. Give the thumbs up symbol or just say thumbs up. I have sound. I have sound. <laughs> that works too. Sound. People have sound. All right. So I'm not sure what's going on. Some people have sound. Some people don't have sound. Technical difficulties do occur in some of these things, but I don't know. Some people, a lot of people are saying they have sound. So we're good to go. All right. Crawfish crank, babe. Live target crawfish crank. So this looks like a little shrimpy. Yeah. It looks like a little skeleton shrimp. A little skeleton shrimpy. That's what it's designed to look like. So. Uh, awesome around rocky areas. Bang this off of the rocks. Um, just try to dig it. You know, put your rod tip into the water. Just dig it into the rocks. Small mouth. Just mmm. It's like a little candy treat. They like that. So that's the live target. Let's take a moment and just look at some of the comments and see what's going on. Let's see how this works. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. They're Wait. coming in now. Coming in now. Please do, oh, yeah, I missed Other it. than rocks, where would you throw? Oh, okay, glad you caught that. Yes. Other than rocks, um, I would just say anywhere you have like hard bottom. So, uh, hard bottom is a fun word, right? Hard bottom. Hard bottoms. So, boat ramps, um, if you've got like some, some, maybe some hard like root systems or something like that, anywhere that's got a hard bottom, it's gonna be good to bounce this off of. That's the key. 
Yeah, uh, ninety percent of your bites are going to come when this thing is deflecting off something. So, shell rock. Somebody said shell rock. Very, very good example. Um, anywhere you have that, it's good. So a lot of man-made stuff too. Dams. Like you go to dams. Uh, I think I already said boat ramps. Okay, we. Uh, I can't read them. Uh. <laughs> size jig. Oh man. Woo. Yeah, uh. These are coming in, coming in quick. What not do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> around stumps. Yes, you could throw it around stumps. Um, how do you find beds? I would throw a square build around stumps myself. There was one that said, "How, how do you find the beds?" How do you find beds? Uh, finding beds in the spring, first of all, if the water is um, 62 degrees or above, I would definitely be looking for beds right now. Um, they basically look like little craters in the ground. They're about the size of these placemats right here. Can I use one of these to demonstrate? Yeah, yeah we can use our okay. kitchen placemats. These are, these are beds, all right? <laughs> about the size of that and uh, basically what the fish do is they just dig dig their tails into the ground and make those those divots and look for them in the backs of creeks uh, look for them in protected areas usually the best place to look for beds is places that are out of the way of a south wind because the wind starts to switch out of the south in the spring you get a consistent wind that direction so Bass automatically know like, okay, well I need to find somewhere that's out of the south wind. That's a little bit calmer. So, one of my favorite places to find big bass on beds is little pockets right off the main lake that are protected. Because they don't have to go far to go get on their beds and do their deal and get back to deep water. So, anyway, a little insider information. Uh-huh. Uh, Let's go to the next one. Oh, people are saying my audio's off a little bit. Well, maybe it'll... If you watch the video later, it'll be fine, I'm sure. Next, we have the spin tail. The Bagley spin tail. There oh, it is. fun looking. There it is. Very fun looking bit. This kind of reminds me of those needle nose fish. Uh, the little hound fish that we see in the ocean? Yeah. It does kind of look like that. It's got that profile, mm -hmm. except it doesn't have these long snoot with the, with the teeth going on. This is a very interesting lure. Very interesante. I like this color too. A little chartreuse bass action. So, um, it has a spinner on the back. It's essentially a floating jerk bait, but, oh, somebody said Winston. Where's Winston? I think he's sleeping. Winston. Sleeps in all the time. So, this is a floating jerk bait. It's got a, a spinner on the back. Um, I've got to throw this one. Here's where I see this working um, pre spawn and around beds. Basically, this thing like dives down just a little bit and then floats back up and then kind of shimmers. Here comes Winston. Sorry, man. You're just. <laughs> People, people want to see you. Did you just fart? <laughs> it was a burp. It was a burp. All right. I'll tell you a short story. Um, there was a guy, I was fishing a tournament. It was a, like an Everstart series, I think it was called back then. Um, it was in, it was either late February or early March. And a guy won the tournament fishing one of these floating jerk baits. It didn't have this on the back of it. But he would literally just throw it out there in this shallow creek where the bass were getting ready to spawn. He would twitch it, he would let it sit at the surface for like five or six seconds, and the bass would come over and grab it. Like I've never fished a floating jerk bit that way until after I heard that, and they'll actually come up and hit it like a top water. You get it above their beds, and it just pisses them off. So I'm sure adding the spin tail is good too, because it's extra noise, extra, extra piss off mode. I guess you could say piss off points. Are you sure that it's not for like going through the water fast? Oh, you mean like, well, it doesn't, it doesn't have like a motor or anything. It just does spin though. Like when you jerk it down, it spins. Oh. So. Kind of reminds me of like a torpedo. It is. It's like a torpedo. Exactly. But anyway, it floats. Don't think it suspends because it doesn't. Um, and you can fish it above beds. All right, let's look at some comments real quick. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Best spring bait. I'm gonna say a uh, a weightless plastic and a spinnerbait. Without question. Winston is not happy. Well, we kind of woke him up from a nap. He's tired. He is. He's, He's real just... tired. He's like, no. it's overcast today, too, and uh, he's always just really <laughs> tired. He likes the sun, so when it's not sunny. Hey, from Canada. Hey. Uh, I look really weird when I'm trying to focus. Calco Bass and Cali, bro. Um, somebody said LTB or MTB. Obviously, MTB. They support LFG. Somebody said, hey, LFG, say birds. Birds? Birds. Daggum birds out there, man. Say birds. <laughs> they tweeting. They tweeting right now this morning. All right, next. Next. It's going to be a long live stream if we don't pick up the pace here. Okay. Well, okay. Pick up the pace. Uh, this is the Project Z Shrooms Micro Finesse Jig by Z-Man. That's a long title for quite a short little lyric. Let's check this thing out. I already know what it's gonna be. We're gonna we're gonna do these in unison right here. All right. All right. This is a uh, look at look at these little dudes. I like this one. You like it? Look how small it is. Show the folks oh. at home how tiny that is. That's called a crusty or a, uh, well, a shroom. Two. It's called a shroom head. A shroom head. That's a shroom head. It has colorful. It's really pretty. It has like peachy color and blue color. I think this is an MTB exclusive. Oh yes, it does say that. I like it. So this is an exclusive color that you can only get with Mystery Taco Box. It's one of the things that makes it unique and nice. And I like the color a lot. Now look at this little crusties right here, okay? This is a pond scum crusties. Look at this tiny little plastic. If you're fishing around small crustaceans, you got small mouth, or you just have some bass on a bed that won't bite, and you need them to, to just eat something tiny, this is your ticket. Now you gotta throw it on light line. Probably a spinning setup would be preferred. Um, I would throw this on like 20 pound braid with a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. That's what I would do. So you wanna pair these two guys up. They're so small, I'm gonna hold them out. But this crusty is, is made out of the elastic. Look at that. Ooh. You see that? That's not like normal plastic. Boom! That way you can just stick it on this jig and it stays on there forever. Now it's a little tricky. I'll show you guys how to rig this. It's a little tricky when you rig it because this plastic's so weird. It's like an everlasting gumdrop. It doesn't wear out. You gotta really, really gotta go hard. Concentrate. It's like it's like shifty jello. You it's just, an everlasting gumdrop. Well, I mean, you can catch like a hundred bass on these things and it doesn't wear out. It's actually not a very good strategy if you're a plastics manufacturer. Oh. Like, why would you want to, you, you would think, you know, you'd want them to wear out so people would buy them more. I didn't get that on there all the way just because the plastic's weird, but essentially it looks like that. Now, that looks like a little crawfish, doesn't it, Winston? Look at that little dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Smell that tastiness. It's like, no, that's weird, bro. <laughs> It's weird, but that's the little crusties and uh, the shroom head. Pretty interesting little bait, I thought. Good morning, LFG and OSG from Florida. Hey, thank you. You know, Florida's almost like my second home because I spend a couple months there out of the year, and I know you love it. I do. I love the beach. We I'm love the beach girl. Like we we love sunrises on the beach in Florida, uh, a short walk, and then grabbing the fishing rods and going fishing. I'm noticing a lot of like faith questions up here. You're noticing or you're not seeing? I'm noticing. Well, that's good. People are asking if you're a Christian. Somebody asked, how did your faith bring you closer to, I didn't read the last part of the question. Uh, uh yes. Uh, yes, we were very, we were very Christian based. Are you a Christian? Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, of course. Of course, of course. But I didn't, I didn't really get on that train until probably about four or five years ago. I was a late, late bloomer. So, I was Did somebody of, just call Winston a cat? He's kind of a bad boy for that. No, he's not a cat. He's just a fat-faced little bulldog. And we love him. Um, let's go on, let's go on. 
Okay. Okay, because this is, we got one, two, three, next. All right, what do we got? Baby Mad Packa. I'm in love with this next bait, guys. Love it. Let me tell you why. I'd never fished it until I got one of these. MTV was like, hey, why don't you go throw this, make a video on it, check it out. I was like, all right. Looks like a brush hog, but smell it. First of all, smell that. See how, you see how Winston immediately went up on this? It's got pork fat in it, folks. Pork <laughs> fat. Who doesn't, like, who doesn't like bacon? Bass love bacon too. Oh, you. yeah, you see that? Mm, it's got anise and it's got pork fat in it. So what that pork fat does, it not only adds flavor, it also floats. Look at fat floats. Face. He loves it, I'm telling you. So what this looks like in the water, and what I never realized about this, this in the water looks dead on with a crawfish profile. Because what happens, even on a Texas rig, you're bouncing it around, you don't even have to have this on a shaky head. You put like a 3 16 ounce bullet weight with a 3 odd offset worm hook on here. You cast it out, you're bouncing around the bottom. These tails float up. These arm pinchers on the side float up. And it's just got that defensive posture profile of crawfish. And I cannot tell you how many bass have been caught on baby brush hog style baits in spring. It's just, it's the juice, man. So I would, uh, I would unplug these arms just like that. One, two, uh, and then you're good to go. Put it on a Texas rig and uh, watch it work. Somebody asked what color. Do they come in different colors? Oh yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, this is a green pumpkin. Uh, you can't go wrong with green pumpkin. Um, you know, green pumpkin really imitates crawfish really good. So I would say green pumpkin, watermelon red, or like a, uh, I don't know, say a... Uh, they make it so tasty sounding. Oh yeah, tasty. Like there's one, there's literally a color called watermelon candy. It sounds like a Jolly Rancher. Oh, I know. I guess that would be like a Jolly Rancher to a fish. Please dab, someone said. I haven't dabbed in a long time, guys. Should we get Winston to dab? Uh, do, 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 do. He doesn't really have the uh, arm <laughs> structure to be able to dab that well. Yeah. <laughs> and he hurt his arm last week. He oh, was yeah, limping he around. He could barely walk. He was... It did. There's like so much weight up at his face. LFG and Winston need to dab. All right, I, you know, it's been so long since I've dabbed, I kind of forgot. Have you ever dabbed before? You gotta, I can't, I've got Winston's name. I think it was, it was one rod, one reel. He showed me how to dab. And he was like, you gotta dab, man. I was like, what's a dab? He's like, oh, you just do like this. I was like, okay. So I'm trying to get Winston. <laughs> it's weird, but I guess people do it. So anyway, I just dabbed. Um, and you know, Stephanie has professional dance experience. Like, you know, like the, like the good kind. Of, <laughs> good so be dance. careful what you say. Yeah, good kind of dance. <laughs> so she knows how to dance. I know. Yes. I'm terrible. I was a dancer in college. Why do you use a fluoro to braid knot? Um, you know, I need to do a video on this specifically, guys, because it's, uh, I tell you, I am in, I'm in love with fishing that braid to fluorocarbon combo because you get the best of both worlds with the low stretch of the braid and the invisibility of fluorocarbon. Um, but learning a good knot is, it takes some time. It's kind of tough. Uh, it, takes, it takes a while to get some confidence in it so you, you, know, you know you're not gonna break. But I've been trying out this new knot um, I'm doing a video on it right now with MTB. They actually introduced me to the knot. They said, hey, why don't you try this and do a video on it? So um, I'll be doing a video on the Mystery Tackle Box channel about the Alberto knot, showing you guys how to tie it. Um, but I'm definitely gonna start using it now because I've been using it for the last few days and I've like, I've gotten hung up on stuff and I'm trying to break it. I can't even break the knot, it's awesome. So, and the other great thing about it is it goes right through the guides. And with the new favorite rods, I've noticed a lot of the guides on the Fuji uh, K, K frames, or they use those real small ones. In the you know, a great way to test out that knot to see if it holds up. What? Put it on Winston. Let him just go after a dog. Oh, there's no nothing's gonna hold him back. <laughs> He'd break it, right? 
can break anything. This guy's a savage. Okay. Moving on. Jinko Fishing Premium Spinnerbait. And this is a new product. So, I don't know if it's out on the shelves or what's going on, but it's new. And uh, it's sexy, literally. It's a sexy shad. It's called a sexy it's, shad? Well, this is the color, let's see. Oh, they call it Threadfin Shad. I think sexy shad's probably trademarked by Strike King or something. This is a three-quarter ouncer right here, and look at that dangler right there. Ooh, this look is long. Look at that dangler. Isn't that fun? Oh, yeah. It's like a party. Ooh. It is like a party on that skirt. Um, it's a party skirt. I'll tell you what, though. That skirt's a little too long for me for, for this reason. Like, when you cast this through the air, it's like, whoa. You know, twirling through the air. That's going to get caught up on some blades sometimes, and it's going to scrunch your skirt a little bit. I would, I would cut that down for sure. Um, I already know this because I've fished it, and the, the spinnerbait works awesome, and it's great for slow rolling in deep water. It's great for uh, power fishing up shallow, just like burning it. Um, but I definitely noticed that this, this skirt right here needs to be trimmed just a hair, like just like right there. And you're good to go. Put you a trailer hook on it. Exactly. Uh, Jersey Outdoors said add a trailer hook. Boom. You are correct. Trim it down a little bit. Add a trailer hook. Good to go. And that is a big hook on there to begin with. That's for big basses. Uh, oh what kind gosh. of trailer? What kind of trailer hook? Someone says I like a uh, a Gamagatsu. They do trailer hooks that are pretty nice, pretty sharp. Uh, what is the OSG blog? Someone said. Or where is it? Um, it is on the healthychew.org. Healthy Chew. If you like chewing healthy stuff or you're interested in it, uh, she's your gal. Mm -hmm. She likes to do that. So, um, anyway, this is a cool spinner bait. I think this this is like a young man that does this, that makes these. Um, designed by Colton Jennings. Um, so, that's cool, Colton. I think he's a young man. That's that's great. He's making baits for the outdoor industry. Uh, good good for him. I think that's pretty awesome. So, what do we got left? Or should we take a, a few questions? Does Winston eat healthy? Where did Ocean Spoon Girl attend college, I saw? Where did I attend college? Yeah. Texas A&M. Fighting Texas Aggies. Whoop. Boom. You see that painting back there? It's not really a painting, it's a drawing. It's our, it's our two Aggie rings connected together to unite. You have yours on? No. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Not supporting. Not supporting. I have right my now. wedding ring on. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Marriage for life. Yeah. Yeah. Represent. Breeze. Represent. Lockdown forever. It's all. It's all good. We love our marriage. All right. What else? Okay, we're on our last thing. And it might I be. I just also say thing. divorce. <laughs> No, don't get divorced, man. That's, that's when bad. When you get married, you get married for life. That's right. Bonded in the eyes of God and the world. Make sure it's a good one. Pick one like her. All right. This is the Big Bite Baits Real Deal Shad. And when I saw this bait, I thought this was super cool. Uh, I saw a, a prototype version of this many years ago. And I put it in a viral video. Many years ago. Many years ago. Uh, that was a young lad. <laughs> it was weird the way I said that. <laughs> but I, I made this video where I put it on a drop shot and it was in super clear water and a bass came over and smashed it. And um, that was this bait. That was back before they were like producing these things. It was a prototype at the time. But now it's all out, it's all good. And it's unique because it looks like a it looks like a shad or a bluegill because it kicks. It's literally the profile. Now, for March and April fishing, this is a fantastic bait because what does that look like? What does that look like right there? Oh yeah, that's a that's a bluegill. It looks like a candy. Like it looks like those like gummy fish candy. Mm. Ew, mm. Ew uh, stop, uh, stop. I crunched the eyeball. It's got real life eyeballs on it, so. That's a good thing. It's got a realistic paint on it. It tastes like anise, which is uh, it's pretty good. It's got this, uh, this slot in here where you can put your hook up in there, rig it up top, 
or you could rig it laterally, either way. But the key thing is those flippers right there, that's gonna, that's gonna kick in the water. You put this on a Texas rig, flip it around uh, docks, brush, anywhere the bass are bedding. Um, so blue girl, bleh, blue girl, blue girl, blue girl, it's a blue girl. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it looks just like a bluegill or a sunfish. So I thought this was a pretty, pretty awesome little lure because it's it's unique. I'd, I'd use it in replacement as for a tube as well. They're sparkly. Yeah, it's got it's got glittery sparkles in it. Maybe I can wear them for earrings. You could, but it'd probably get like your hair would probably get caught up in it with rubber. Mm. Yeah, that'd be weird. Uh, your dog smells bad, doesn't he? He doesn't smell bad. I don't think he smells bad. Like his breath smells bad because yeah. he loves to eat a lot of fish. He eats, that's He's all got, he eats is fish. You know. Someone just say I have a booger. I have a booger. Look up. No. No. I do have a bug bite on my face. Something's like a thing bit me in the leg. Uh, someone wants us to kiss. Oh. Oh. Am I, am I on your good side right now? Will you give me a kiss? Yeah, you're on my good side. Okay. Oh. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. All right. Now, uh, that is it for this box, guys. So, if you want to check out more video reviews, you can go to mysterytigerbox.com or go to YouTube slash mysterytigerbox and you can view more of the videos. And you might see me in some of them uh, going more in depth on some of this stuff. So we'll take a few more questions, comments on the on the video here. Someone um, said I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> Batman. Isn't that like a viral video? Or no. some like big channel? It's from um um the show with Cooper. Uh yeah yeah yeah. I know what you're talking about. What show is that guys? I think it's on YouTube too. <laughs> oh what's what's the other one? I'm a... This is the science geek yeah. kid. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Big Bang Theory. Big Bang. Uh, yeah. There we go. What's up? Big Bang Theory. Somebody already said it. Any tips for people fishing? Oh, dang. I missed it. Uh, um, I can't read them. They're coming in too fast. Uh, somebody said, what should I do today? Uh, depends on where you are. Like, what should you do fishing-wise? Um... Down here in Texas, like I was on the water yesterday on Lake Conroe, um, side of the Bassmaster Classic. Water 65, guys. Water 65. So I was watching a lot of the pros. They were going in the backs of the creeks and, um, you know, looking for bed fish and whatnot. Another thing that's going on right now, though, is the shad spawn. So fish spawn at night. What, what does someone say? Is it bad? You don't want to say it? <laughs> so it says you look like a 14 year old boy right now. <laughs> I am. In my soul. So, right back at you. Um, but yeah, the shad spawn's going on right now. So, early, early, early morning, get out there, throw like a spinner bait and a square bill and stuff like what? Did I miss something? No, I'm just reading the comments. They're looking at what's in my Oh. <laughs> Rolling around. He, so. <laughs> you guys probably have never seen him do that. He likes to roll around. We'll He's like a pig. Up. What? <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be on camera. <laughs> He's just like, let me get in. Let me get in on this action. <laughs> he likes to roll around like a pig. Uh, we don't know why. Especially after he eats. Strange. Mm. I keep uh, seeing this one comment that oh, says, are you going to harvest? Hang on. What? Hang on. Somebody asked about the lure costs. So the most expensive... Lure in this box would be the crawfish. That's twelve forty nine. The rest of them are all under uh, seven dollars. So, so five ninety nine for the spin tail, four ninety nine for the the finesse jigs, four forty nine for the crusties, four forty nine for the mad paca, and seven dollars for the spinner bait, and seven dollars for the uh, real deal shad, which is you know. Those are the retail prices, essentially, but you're not paying that with Mr. Tuck Box, so that's the good part. All right. Um, any other questions that uh, we can get to here? Tips for rivers? 
Am I sponsored by Shimano? No, I'm not sponsored by Shimano. I've never been sponsored by Shimano, guys. I know, I know, I've seen that question a lot in videos. But. Well, it looks, it looks, it might have looked like you were because you were fishing with some yes. Shimano rods. Well, but you weren't I, actually sponsored. I worked, by. I worked for a company that worked for Shimano. If that makes sense. So it was my duty to to sell Shimano to stores. That's what I did for uh, for three and a half, maybe almost four years, maybe three and a half years. Yeah, it was about three years. I've been selling fishing and hunting stuff for like three and a half years, like like literally going door to door. Not more though, just doing videos now. I wouldn't but say that you're going like to neighborhoods door to door, but it's a door to door mom and pop stores. Yes. Yeah. Mom and pop, selling the mom and pop shops. Uh, yeah, at one point I sold uh, deer pee. I uh, sold deer pee. Um, uh, yeah, it's been interesting. It's been an interesting road. So, uh, am I sponsored by Toyota? No, uh, they just sent me a shirt. This is a Carhartt shirt, and uh, just had the Toyota on it. Uh, you know, I like Tundras. You know. Maybe they should be paying me to wear this shirt. Maybe. Toyota, send me a check in the mail or truck. I expect a truck tomorrow in the driveway. Uh, so there's already one out there. <laughs> right. What are you gonna do with two? Right. I don't need another truck. I'm fine. Um. Somebody said, "What power rod do you need for Texas rigging?" Um. You know, if you're going under half ounce, I would say uh, medium heavy is good. And if you're going bigger than that, going up to like three quarters, one ounce, uh, you're going to need a heavy. So, but for most Texas rig applications, I use a medium heavy. Stephanie, going to go hog hunting again. I hope so. Yeah, you are. I really hope so. You are. Um, so my, my bro Hayden, that hooked us up last time, uh, we're going to go again very soon. Uh, not me and you. You're going to be out of town. But... Yeah. Right after the Bassmaster Classic, me and Outlaw. Outlaw Dipper coming down to Texas. He might be at the Bassmaster Classic where you guys can come over and say hi. So we're going hog on. Uh, Lunkers is supposed to go too. He's on the edge. He's on the fence. But it might be us three going. So look out for that video. Somebody just sent all the turtles. Turtles. Somebody, somebody <laughs> probably saw the, uh, the turtle, the MTV turtle. Yeah. Uh, the excuses to get your wife to go fishing. I loved, oh, what, is that up yet? Yeah. I love turtles. I love turtles. <laughs> I love turtles. I love turtles. That's awkward. That's weird. <laughs> we laughed for so long. I wish there were outtakes on that video because we laughed about your little turtle thing forever. Um, do you guys going down to the Bassmaster Classic? Um, I'm going to be there Saturday. A bunch of us YouTubers are going to be there. We're going to be at the, uh, the favorite booth. I'll be at MTB. I'll probably be at the Carhartt Toyota situation at some point. Um, so if you're rolling down there, I'll be there. And this whole next week, I'm basically like taking sponsors and partners out fishing. I'll be filming vlogs on that and um, getting ready for the classic essentially. And you're going, you're leaving. You're always leaving me. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> Not by choice. Not, we're always leaving each other. We're going to, off to do our thing. Yeah. Uh, Somebody said that they were just kidding, kidding about your booger. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got me. You got me, bro. Uh, so, uh, a couple of people have asked about Favorite, too. Yes, I am I am sponsored by Favorite now. So, that's, that's my first, like, big rod reel, you know, big tackle company sponsorship I've had so thank you thank you it's <laughs> turtles good. it's good you guys are gonna like it Every time I turn around there's more turtles on the screen okay <laughs> Stephanie loves turtles so if you want to send anything turtle related to the P.O. box check it out in the description um you know little turtle trinkets little <laughs> turtle that sounds kind of gross <laughs> <laughs> Turtles are gross, actually. You know, they are, turtles are they're, cute, but they're, they're they cute. carry a lot of diseases. I, I wouldn't just go around. I like turtles. sea turtles. I like sea turtles. I like sea turtles. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember that video of the zombie kid that's like, I like turtles. 
That's what that reminded me of. Big time. I like turtles. Mm. Uh, uh, P.O. Box in the description. Uh, there's turtles everywhere. Uh, somebody's asked about Nashville. A lot of Tennessee fishing freaks up in here tonight. Or today, this morning, wherever time we're in. Uh, I will be going to Tennessee soon, guys. You guys ever heard of 22 Plinkster? He does, uh, he does some trick shooting. I'm supposed to be going up there and doing some fishing with him uh, this spring. Maybe some shooting. Do some shooting, do some fishing. It'll be good. It's going to be good. Just as long as you come back civilized. I, <laughs> you keep me civilized. Like I feel like if, if I were away all the time... <laughs> You would see... Well, like I said, every time I come blown. back, it's like this house gets turned into a campsite. It does. Like, I just morph, I cocoon into a full outdoor woodsman mm -hmm. when she's gone. It's weird. But, you know, that's just that's just how we do it. Mm -hmm. you, keep me, you keep me civilized, you know. That's good. I feel All like right. we're rambling now. We are. All it's right. time to shut this thing down, All guys. Right. Thanks for tuning in. This has been a uh, the first live unboxing I was glad uh, if you if you watched the first live stream that I did, it was pretty, uh, it was it was not good because I I didn't even I didn't even know how to hold the thing. Um, it was probably entertaining to you guys, but I just felt stupid. This time I got it I got it like set up, I got it going the right direction. Um, all is good. So I think we'll do more of these if you guys like them, if you enjoy them. Hit the like button if you do. Um, if you're watching this after it's live, please go ahead and comment and say whatever you want to say. Just let us know what you're thinking, what's on your mind. How can we help you in any way? We're here. We're here to help. <laughs> yes, All right. we're here to help. All right. We got to go to a farmer's market now. Yes, we do. And uh, I got to get on some more fishing videos, so we'll catch you fishing freaks on the next one. Later.